In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install and use the photo editing notes add-on. Uh, so in the previous version, this add-on was actually a .blend file and you had to append in different notes uh, to use it in your scenes. But uh, since version 3 of this add-on, uh, it's uh, the .blend file has been converted to an add-on and uh, it's much more easier to use rather than appending uh, in different notes uh, every time you create a scene in Blender. So now it's an add-on and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install it and a few uh, changes uh, to this add-on. So uh, once when you have downloaded this add-on file, you'll get this uh, zip file over here called photo editing notes extract. So this zip file uh, and, uh, has a suffix extract and that means you need to extract this zip file and don't install this as an add-on in Blender because if you do that, uh, you won't get the add-on in Blender and you cannot use it. So it's important that you extract this first zip file. So let's extract it. Uh, so it's extracted and as you can see these are the two new files. So one is a zip file and another, another one is a text file. And uh, this one is actually a tutorial and info and you can read this text file. I'm not going to go through that one. What we need to think about is this photo editing notes install zip file. So as you can see the suffix in this one is install and this is the add-on. You need to install this zip file uh, in Blender so that you can use this uh, add-on. So let's get into Blender and uh, install this and make sure this is a zip file. If it's extracted then you need to again compress it into a zip file uh, because yeah Blender needs to understand the files. So that's okay let's go to the Blender and uh, yeah let's go to file user preferences and then click on the add-ons tab and these are all the add-ons which uh, come by default and all the uh, uh, installed add-ons as well we are installing uh, an external add-on so to do that click on this install from file button so this is the directory where i have saved my add-on as you can see there are two files a photo editing notes extract.zip and the install.zip we are going to install this one which ends with install.zip so click on it and click on install from file so if you have done it correctly the add-on should be installed now and as you can see this is the add-on so as you can see, uh, the version of this add-on, it's version 3, the time I'm creating this video. And let's activate it by checking this checkbox over here. Now this checkbox was actually placed over here uh, in the previous versions of Blender, but since Blender version 2.77, I guess it has been relocated to this place. Uh, so it's okay now, once you have activated this add-on, all the node groups and everything is appended. And you can uh, click on the Save User Settings button, so that you don't have to activate the add-on Next time when you open a Blender, it will be ready for you. So that's okay. Now let's close this user preferences window. So this is the compositor note reloaded up here. And um, yeah, let's uh, start compositing. And I'm going to be showing you a few major changes uh, in this update of the add-on. So um, as you can see, if you press Shift A and then go to Grip, you can see all the new node grips which come with the photo editing nodes add-on now. And um, there have been a few changes and I'm going to go through a few of them now. So the first major change is the dirty lens node. This node was added in the previous version and in the version 3 it has been updated a lot and um, actually it has been recreated from scratch so it's much better now, it's much simpler and it's much more better. So basically if I just add in over here, as you can see this is the effect what it uh, gives actually add, uh, add some kind of scratches, droplets and all those uh, dirt in, uh, onto your render. Now you might be wondering why is it important to add all these scratches to your render. Well it's kind of important for some renders and um, it, it does look good in some cases. As you can see the opacity is now 0.5 but if I decrease it, um, it, it looks better. It's not looking that good in this render but it looks good in some environment scenes or in some dark scenes as well so it's much better now and um, previously it was a bit different now it's completely changed and it, uh, its functionality is much more better now so as you can see the color of the overlay this, there's a value called color overlay and you can change the overlay color to something white so as you can see this is the white and now I'll decrease the opacity a lot just to get some better scratches I believe should be fine it's looking good and you can use different color but i recommend you to use the black color for this uh, so that's good and then we have the scratches value so actually this dirty lens node has two types of scratches 
or dot which are uh, which it adds onto your render so if we make the scratches value zero you can see uh, one type of scratches if i make this opacity point for you can see all these kind of scratches on the render if i change the scratches to be one you can see the other kind of these scratches so basically i'm going to keep it to be 0.5 to use both of these scratches and um, yeah that's actually the default value so that is how you can control these scratches and finally we have the opacity to control the opacity of the color overlay and the scratches and stuff so one is very very strong probably you don't want that i guess 0.5 and a bit more less than 0.5 should be fine so that's the dirty lens node really really simple to use and it's it looks good as well and a few nodes were removed and one of them is the add text node which was there since the release of the photo editing node since version 1 and has been removed in this version because I don't think it's it's good to have something called add text and it wasn't that flexible also so it's good that it's removed and um, yeah that's the add-on which is removed and um, apart from that there has been some tweaking with the uh, decision all these focus nodes as you can see the focus type value has been changed a bit um, previously there were uh, the focus type was 0 and 0 0.1 so if if you choose 0 you'll choose one type of focus and 0 0.1 will be another type of focus but with this update it has been changed um, you need to actually increase this completely to 1 to get a different kind of uh, uh, the focus so 0 is one this black kind of focus and one is completely this blurred kind of focus this uh, choice uh, type is similar to the um, photo frame node even this has the frame type selection so again in this one as well you have one and zero combination so it's much better now uh, and again in this focus node the size value has been made a bit more less sensitive because by default it was very very sensitive so it has now become a bit more lesser sensitive uh, than uh, than the previous version so that's good and uh, let's actually use this focus I guess you know, we'll use the vignette we don't want focus in this uh, render and um, yeah so now let's actually start by composing this scene so first I'm gonna do the temperature node I'm just gonna add in the temperature node decrease the coolness to be zero warmth I guess 0.5 is fine and um, yeah again one new uh, thing we can see over here is the new sketch node this is actually uh, an older node uh, which was actually uh, in version 1 it was named sketch in version 2 it was named find edges and in version 3 again I have named it to be sketch <laughs> and uh, yeah that is actually what it does converts here render into a sketch so I guess that's good however we don't want this in this scene now so I'm gonna remove it the next thing which we're gonna add is vignette so this is the vignette node I'm gonna add it in that's fine and um, what else can we do we have this film grain node we can add in some film grain top of the render I don't think it's looking good in this render it, it looks good in some other renders as well um, so that's pretty much it and um, yeah that's the basic update of this add-on and the main update it was uh, the main update was basically converting the dot blend into this add on file so that's pretty much it with the uh with the uh, photo editing nodes add on now and hope you find this update useful and um yeah thanks for watching and if you have any other questions you can contact me and uh, i'll be happy to help you so thanks for watching